Proxima Centauri b is the closest known exoplanet, and it orbits the closest star to our Sun, Proxima Centauri. The planet was discovered as late as of 2016, but despite the fact that it's the closest planet outside of the solar system, that does not tell the true scale of how distant it actually is. So it is 4.2 light years away from the Earth, meaning we see Proxima b 4 years in the past. Because light, the fastest speed known, takes 4 years to get to us from Proxima b. Translated into kilometers, this means that Proxima b is 38 trillion kilometers away. That's a huge distance that even the fastest of our probes sent into space that are traveling a couple of tens of kilometers per second, even to those probes, it would take around 70,000 years to reach this planet. So it's safe to say that we aren't visiting Proxima b anytime soon. But what if we did somehow manage to do it, and we find ourselves onto the ground of this exoplanet? What would it be like? Let's see, as we do have enough data to find out. Looking at Proxima b from space, it would be noticeably big as it is 1.3 times more massive than the Earth, and it likely has a bigger diameter than the Earth. We don't know much about how its surface looks like, but likely, as it is massive enough, there will be lots of mountains and natural shapes that come with geologic activity. As you would land and step onto the surface with your spacesuit, it would be noticeable that you would be a bit heavier, as the higher mass of the planet suggests higher density, thus higher gravity. So moving around would be a bit harder. But overall the gravity should feel similar to Earth's. As you would look into distance, you likely would not be able to see much of an atmosphere. And that is because Proxima b is constantly getting bombarded with huge waves of solar winds. So this alone is enough to wipe out any atmosphere that would be present onto the planet. And solar winds are very constant because Proxima b is orbiting its star at a distance of only 7 million kilometers, which is 21 times closer to its star than the Earth is to the Sun. So that is why solar winds have such a great impact onto the planet. Also because Proxima b is so close, it receives 400 times more X-ray radiation than the Earth does. So really, you would likely die of radiation poisoning quickly while standing onto the surface. But weirdly enough, the temperature while standing onto the planet would not be that high, and that is because the star that Proxima b is orbiting is a dwarf star, so its luminosity is much lower than our suns. And it is much smaller. That would put the temperature on the planet at around minus 30 Celsius, which is not that extreme. But still, the radiation would be deadly. But let's say you somehow are protected from all of that. So as you would move around the planet, you likely would notice many mountains and volcanoes and other interesting but predictable geologic features. Now, we don't know what the ground of the planet would feel like. It could be icy and it could be rocky, but it is more likely that it is more icy. So because of that, the ground would likely appear to be a bit shiny. As you would look up into the sky, Proxima Centauri would appear enormous, but it would not be that hard to look at directly, as it is much less luminous than our Sun. But interestingly, other two stars that are in the Alpha Centauri system would all be visible and would also be very bright. It would seem as if they are other suns. And as Proxima b is likely tidally locked, basically meaning it doesn't rotate, they goes on forever, this means that other stars in the Alpha Centauri system would light up the dark region of the planet, making it seem as if it is always day everywhere. Also from Proxima b, our sun would also be visible and it would appear very bright, but it would also be 4 years in the past. Also, another interesting fact about this planet is that it is older than our sun. This object has went through a lot. So we likely are not visiting and standing on this planet anytime soon, but we should keep on developing new efficient engines such as antimatter engine that will get us there in a couple of decades. And one day we may set a foot on a planet outside of the solar system.